Hey guys, speedrunning from the law here again. This is going to be another episode of my tutorial series where we're going to be speedrunning Super Mario 64 70 star and we're going to be using beginner and intermediate strats that anybody can do. So we just finished Hazy Maze Cave and now we're going to get ready to make our way out of the basement. So the first thing we're going to do is head up to that door over there. Now there's two ways you can get around this. Um, the first way is to literally just walk around the entrance to HMC which is a bit slower than the second way. The second way is to do a jump kick as such. However, when you're doing that, um, be careful as with jump kicks, they can easily turn into jump dives if you have too much momentum. So what you want to do if you're going to do the jump kick over here is jump with forward momentum, then pull back on the stick slightly when you're about halfway through to then press the kick button, and that way you have stopped your momentum and you will kick and then once you have started your kick you can begin pressing forward again otherwise you will immediately dive into HMC again and that's a pretty big time loss. so neutral there we go just like that um, jump your way up here and we're gonna be heading out of the basement once and for all back through this door so just make your way over here as quickly as you can and open this door. Now we are going to start in Dire Dire Docks and after we finish the few stars in here we will be headed on to the second Bowser fight. So today we're just going to do Board Bowser Sub. Now since this is beginner and intermediate strats I won't be doing um, the sub skip where you can go to the left and kind of uh, do a double jump up on the left side of the sub. It only saves a few seconds. So it's really not worth it if you're new. So the first thing we want to do is swim over to this hole right here. Uh, the hardest part about this star is getting proper swim inputs so you don't slow yourself down. Once we get here we want to hold C stick left. It's going to prevent lag. Continue to hold C-Stick left this entire time. You're going to have to hold the button down that way, otherwise your camera is going to readjust back to center. And start swimming to the right while continuing to hold C-Stick left. At this point, we can let go of C-Stick left. And we can jump up right here on this little platform. And by holding C-Stick left that whole time, we avoided actually seeing the sub which creates a magnificent amount of lag and makes it really challenging to get up here and makes it really slow swimming. So a few notes about getting up to this uh, little area right here. It can be a bit tricky. Um, so basically what you want to do is, there's two ways to do it. You could jump while still moving in the water or you could simply stop, hold down on the control stick so Mario is facing completely up in the sky and this is the easiest way and then just press jump you want to be holding down on the control stick so you get the most tight if you're not holding down on the control stick what's going to happen is Mario is just going to swim like that you have to hold down on the control stick to get your jump off the second way is if you're actually in the middle of swimming which this is a bit faster but it's quite a deal harder to actually land on the platform like that see um, moving is quite a bit harder I would recommend just taking a second once you get close to kind of stop your swim hold up and go right there now that we're on here what we want to do is do a side flip backwards onto the sub here and once we land we want to immediately jump dive or we will slide off um, so like that and then jump dive and see if you go too far right or too far left like that what's going to happen is you're going to slide right off. So your jump dive has to be exactly in the middle portion of the sub. Otherwise you're going to fall off and have to swim back around again. So we get that. And we dive straight forward like that. And again, once your side flip hits that uh, slope on the sub, you want to immediately do a jump, get some air on your jump, and then press the dive button and try to aim yourself right here in this middle part. As you can see, we're experiencing quite a bit of lag because now the sub is in full view. But the star is pretty much over at this point. All you have to do is do a long jump, a second long jump, and the star is going to be right over here. Now what you can do is it's possible if you just hug this 
Oops. Okay, the lag's getting to me now because I'm not going full speed. You can do a long jump from here and just hug the right side, and you'll actually get the star. Uh, that's the fastest way to get the star. Um, you can also just run around or do whatever, but it is a bit faster to do that long jump and then hug the right or the hug the left side of that fin, um, so you're touching it once you pass the front of it, so you don't bonk, obviously. But regardless, that is the uh, board Bowser Substar. Very simple, very easy. Shouldn't give you any problems. Again, the biggest thing about that is just um, holding C stick left, so you avoid the lag and making sure you get on the sub without any big issues with that side flip jump dive. If you guys have any questions or need any help, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, uh, if the video was helpful, please like and subscribe. Helps me out a lot. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.